having those sort of comments uh, were great. But, you know, we don't want to sugarcoat it. We understand what the reality is. And yes, the uh, multiple $4 million comments, uh, which constantly pop into my eyes, we definitely understand that. So I want to talk about some of the things that didn't go right. Uh, they don't do this in Japan, but we're going to try and do it here and see what Inafune-san can say. えっと、ですね。ま、ちょっとなんていうのかな。学ぶ、学んだことっていうか反省点と言いますか。あったと思うんですけれども、一番反省してはるところで言いますと何でしょうか。そうですね。あの、反省と言い訳とちょっと微妙なところにあるんで、はい。あの、難しいところではあるんだ
and do all the ports all at the same time. And it ended up being a huge amount of work, uh, more than they actually estimated. So definitely, when they looked at the project, they were wrong about a lot of things. They underestimated how much work, time, money, etc., was going to be necessary. And all of those things create a huge amount of pressure. So he said, at the end of the day, when you look at a Kickstarter campaign, don't look at the final number. Imagine that being about 60%. But also understand that in order to get more money, not more money, in order to increase the content in a wide variety of ways, stretch goals are going to be largely based around new platforms, etc. Uh, and you really need to be able to estimate the amount of financial burden that's going to occur on the project. Uh, and even for someone like him who's worked on so many different games, it's a really hard thing to estimate. So it's just something to keep in mind uh, in the future with Kickstarters. Um, I do want to ask him a question, uh, something that I've thought about that I do appreciate about Kickstarters, and that is it's very hard for uh, independent creators to own their IP. It's very hard. This is one of the things that allows them to do that. So now that he has the IP, obviously wanting to use that in a wide variety of different ways, I'm seeing people mention a lot of the games that he's worked on. That Inafune Sans was the sort of person that would work on movies, anime. He was, did this transmedia thing very well. But I've seen people hold that against him, I think, on this project. So I'm very curious uh, about what he's thinking about that. まあ、なん、なんてんっていうか。難しいところいっぱいあると、いうのは、まあ、あると思うんですけれども、え、一緒に仕事してる時は感じてたんですけれども、今回一つですね、あの、ユーザーのコメント、掲示板で見た中で、なんでこんなにいろんなコンテンツ展開勝手にしてるんですか?なんでゲームにフォーカスしないのかっ
only focused on being a businessman and taking the IP and making anime or manga or uh, branching off to a lot of different directions. And to your average everyday person, it's going to seem that way. But the reality is during the game production, the key creative uh, pieces really happen for the first 70%. And then beyond that, it's all about doing porting and bug testing. Uh, I promise you Inafune-san's time is much better uh, focused on taking this IP in new directions. Because, as, again, as I said, to be an independent studio and get a chance to own your own IP, it just doesn't happen. And it does bring in different op opportunities, which is great. You want... I guarantee you, you want your independent creators and developers to have their IP. You want them to be able to take it in different directions. It gives you more choice as gamers. I 100% stand by this uh, sentiment. Uh, because at the end of the day, we all want more games. And so that's where he shifted his focus to. Certainly being the president of the company and needing to think about not just his company on the terms of one game, but on multiple games. Obviously there's ReCore. One of the things that people are mentioning in the comments is what happened with Red Ash. Well, it was about that time that he was moving on to thinking about other titles, and that was a title that they really wanted to do. So there's just a natural timeline that occurs uh, in which he focuses on that game, and he did 100% on Mighty Number no. 9. But then as it went into bug testing, uh, and as it went into um, doing the porting phase, as the key creator, uh, he needs to focus on other different opportunities, and that's what he was trying to do. Um, who knows what will happen with Mighty Nomad? I really hope, again, independent creators get more and more freedom and get the ability to make the games that they want to for themselves, not just necessarily for the man you want it to. But it's great to hear that sort of feedback. Um, hold on one second as I pull up another question here. Um, it to. ちょっと次のですね、コンセプトにとって次の展開というかこれからまあやっとの思いでゲームが<笑>休んでられないんで、ゲームを作るっていうことにやっていかなきゃいけないかなと思ってるんだけど、まああのマイティ絡みで言うとやっぱりマイティの続編っていうのはやっぱり作りたいと思ってるし、それはやっぱりユーザー
can feel free to reach out uh, and talk to Comcept and see what's working and isn't working. But I want to see if we can't jump to a little gameplay uh, from here on out. Hold on one second. Okay. So, so we've got Infinite on for 10 more minutes. Uh, if that's the case, what I'd like to do is open this up to questions. Now I know it's going to be really hard. This is Twitch. People are going to want to throw out a lot of salty comments and jokes. If possible, though, we'd like to get real questions. Um, sure, some there's going to be some frustration. Some there's going to be some great things. Uh, but since we've got Infinite on for the next 10 minutes, ask your questions. I will have uh, Nick who's off screen right now, he will tell me the questions. So Nick, here, you're staring at the screen. Real questions, give us real questions. Uh, Gun Lord, I did not see your question, ask it again. By the way, salty is not a question. It is an adjective. <laughs> There's no question. 3DS, 3DS release date, is that a question we're not supposed to answer? We don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Still looking into it. What's apparently. next concept? We already asked. When will I eat my pizza? Hopefully soon. Can we get a Soul Sacrifice 2? Ask Sony. <laughs> uh, Ask Sony. All right. Wow, man. God, it's eat. Sequel. Any idea for sequel? Zoku hen wa tsukuru yotei desu ka? Will there be patches if there is a serious problem? Yes, of course. Nick, you can't answer for Inafune san. He's got to answer. <laughs> well, but the, the answer is yes. Will there be patches? Yes, of course. Um, they will continue to try and make sure the game uh, plays as, as well as it can as far as bug issues or whatever. So, yes. Is there any expansions to the, to the IP? So there's not any additional uh, DLC beyond the Ray DLC. Um, the reality is they put everything into making this game. Um, they didn't try to microtransaction it out. They didn't try to DLC it out for extra money. They put it all in. So for now, this is what you see and what you get for the Mighty Number no. 9 world. But uh, again, we can hope that uh, if things go well, there'll be sequels. Because I'll tell you what, I'm not getting my 2D side-scrolling fill. And at the end of the day, even if it's not perfect, it's better than nothing. At least that's my opinion. It, it, uh, is there any possibility for Smash Bros? マイティはデルでしょうかと。とマイティがダイヒットすればニンテンドーからオファーが来るんじゃないかって。He Remaining questions, again, appreciate less salty comments and actual real-world questions. Let's not spoil will it for the other kids. Will there be more playable characters? That's kind of a sequel question, I guess. But you can ask that. Any other character can be used to 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 Currently, right now, no. Again, what you see is what you get, but it's a very iterative process, and we'll see how people play, what part of the game modes are working, what is not working. 
uh, and then potentially building up new characters or something like that in the future could be possible. But uh, again, we'll have to take a look. Uh, somebody asked, can I get a job at Comcept, I think. Comcept で仕事あの仕事というか雇ってくれますかという質問あります。優秀だったら雇います。Yeah. If you're very talented, <laughs> yes, we're all the、uh, Comcept is always looking for talented people. あと日本語が話せるかい。Yes. I saw some questions about Red Ash. Can we talk about that? Like, what's going on with Red Ash? Is there anything you can say about Red Ash? 現時点でどうなってますかと。He's making, this, he's making the smile like, ah,、uh, I really didn't want that question, but we got it. So here you go, live streaming for you. Red Ash was a Kickstarter to see what was happening. I was able to see what was happening. I was able to see what was happening. Sorry, I just had a pizza gasm. Um, uh, ultimately, i n a f u n e s a n said, Listen, the reality is the Kickstarter campaign didn't work out, as you know. And so ultimately, we're going to have to see what we can do on this end、uh, to make the game.、Uh, it's never easy, and sometimes you have to cut things.、Uh, my assumption is it's still going to be a good game, but it's the game, one of the games that they really want to make. So、uh, I really hope、uh, things work out. Last, Last one or two questions. I see a person keep asking about Mike Number Nine, the TV show. I'm not sure which one he's referring to. Mighty Number Nine, no, t e l e v i a n g u m i ni k a n s h t e n a n k a s h i t o comment o ita da k i m a s u k a Donna version of Kumakarana in the skeleton of Mo. Take to read this. Ma, I know, Tele version, I know, anime no good. Uh, we're assuming that the television question is about the anime version TV show. Hi, that was that. I know it's your, I know, not to go now. Go scoop the ik dan kind of to go on a hana swash them as a toa. I know my tea ga, it all moto moria got to grill about so no school no casus. People, the reality is that. A lot of people are not going to throw money into a project、uh, unless it's successful. And so ultimately,、um, we'll have to see where Mighty Number、no. Nine ends up in the great big scheme of things. But they're having discussions about the anime and what direction it may go in. So、uh, hopes are that、uh, Mighty Number、no. Nine will be a success and that will allow future content, story, building out that world. Obviously, games are not built in a day, neither are there worlds. So、um, that will be very interesting and hopefully it will indeed work out. でもあの最後に言うと本当にユーザーと一緒に作ってきたお金も出してもらってっていうことで,でそれはずっとあのコミュニティもずっと続けてきてそれは確かなんかで最終的にもえと約束をちょっとディレイはしたけど出せた出せてない言うとキックスターターのゲーム多い中で出せたっていうやっぱりファンがいかに支えてくれるか。によっってて成り立っていくもんなん、うん、でこれは続編の話もそうだし、うんうん、アニメの話も、うん、映画の話も、うん、マイティの今後に関しても俺に聞くよりも、うん、実際にはユーザーがそれを決めれる立場にあるんだっていうのを認識してもらいたいなと思う、うんうん、ユーザーが応援してくれなければやっぱりそれはなくなるし、はい、応援してくれればどんどんどんどんいいものにできると思ってるんで。はいぜひやっぱりもう自分の子供のように思っているこの作品をユーザーとともにもっと大きなものにしていきたいなと思っています。はい。So yeah, his last thing that he wants to say before、uh, moving on, and、uh, he does have to go. It's nice to have his time here. Is that at the end of the day, certainly now, if not ever,、uh, users, end users, gamers, consumers are empowered. You will determine whether a game like this survives or doesn't survive. At the end of the day, it was the backers that helped make this a reality. It may be a first step, it may be a last step.、Um, people may, it may not have met their expectations.、Uh, they may be willing to give、uh, Inafune san a second shot. I know I'm the sort of person that would. He's, had, he's given me too many great moments not to. But、uh, at the end of the day, 
he got the game out, albeit with a few delays. Uh, there's a lot of Kickstarter games that don't actually get achieved, but it will be ultimately up to you uh, and the consumers whether this is worth something they reiterate on, whether this is worth something they end up polishing, uh, improving, um, and moving forward with. You have the ultimate say, and that includes future sequels, that includes uh, anime, um, etc. So. It's in everyone's hands, and I guess the rest is going to be written in history. Um, I think we're out of time with Inufune san, so yeah. I'm going to ask him for one last thing. Again, uh, apologies for the things that didn't work out, but uh, heartfelt thank you to everyone for all their support. Um, without you, it wouldn't have been possible. Um, really hope that, again, this is our, our baby. Um, we love it no matter what, and we really hope that there will be support uh, in the future from everyone, but you'll have that ultimate say. Thank you very much, everyone. Goodbye from uh, Inafune-san. Ja, mata yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hai, arigatou gozaimasu. Taien otsukare sama deshita. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hi. All right, Nick, get back here. All right. Get back here. I'm tired of talking. This pizza is, like, teasing me. I'm about to have a David Hasselhoff-like pizza moment where I'm just like... Like that on the screen. I don't even know what you're talking about, and I don't even understand what you're saying. It's pop, it's <laughs> pop culture, buddy. It's pop culture here.